Hey guys, this is Linda from Brain Education TV, where we share practical tips on how to take back your brain and use it well. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing to get regular updates from us. And if you're already subscribed and have been watching our videos, welcome back. In this video, I'll share with you seven hacks that you can practice very easily to reduce plastic use. So first of all, did you know that there is a mass twice the size of Texas that's floating from Los Angeles and New Zealand of just plastic that is causing so much destruction in the ecosystem. You know, we see articles and videos of sea animals and fish getting entangled in so much plastic and it's destroying our environment, destroying the oceans. And I'm personally horrified at everything that I see related to plastic. So I'm gonna be sharing with you easy and practical ways that we can each do our part to help save the planet from destruction. Number one, stop drinking from plastic water bottles. I know so many people who buy cases of those tiny little water bottles this big and they keep drinking from that and they create so much plastic waste. So instead of drinking from little water bottles every day, consider installing a filter, a water filter that you could get a reusable water bottle and refill whether you're at home or maybe ask your work to install a water filter for you so that you don't have to keep drinking from those little tiny plastic bottles because they really add up if you drink a lot of water and your only source is drinking from those tiny water bottles. There's also ways that you could fill up those big jugs of water. I think just one big jug that you can reuse over and over again is better than many little single-use plastic water bottles. So they have water refilling systems like at the gas station that it's really cheap to just fill up a, a case really, really big of water. So even that is better than single-use plastic water bottles that are just this big and you can't do much with it after you drink from it. And speaking of reusable water bottles, step two is use tumblers when you get coffee. So if you go to like Starbucks or if you like to get coffee or tea on the go, instead of using those paper cups or getting those plastic, uh, plastic ice beverage containers that they give you at the cafes, get a tumbler that you can use for either hot or cold drinks that you could use over and over again. And nowadays, you know, they, they have them in sizes that are kind of standard in the cafe. So you get like a 12 ounce tumbler, a 16 ounce tumbler, a 20 ounce tumbler, and you can just let them know how many ounces your tumbler is and they can fill it up to the size so that you pay a fair portion of that drink. It's so much better than those single use plastic containers that we get and you just drink once and you throw away especially during the summertime, all those ice drinks that we love to enjoy when we're outside, those can really, really add up if all you do is use those single-use plastics every single time that you get a drink. Step three, I know probably most of you guys are doing this already, but using a reusable bag at grocery checkouts. So this is really big because, you know, some states even ban the use of plastics for grocery stores where you have to pay like a small fee to get plastic bags. But there are still some states that freely hand out plastic bags when you go to the grocery store. So instead of using plastic bags every single time, get one of those cool reusable bags. There's so many nice, pretty, cool looking ones, tote bags, canvas bags out there that we can use to put our groceries in every time we go shopping. Number four, speaking of grocery shopping, when you go to the produce section, there are those mini plastic bags that you could put your produce in. So when I first went grocery shopping, I thought I was supposed to put all my fruits and vegetables in individual plastic bags, but actually that is not true. Instead of putting your apples in one bag, oranges in another bag, avocados in another bag, all those different plastic bags you could use at the produce section, opt out of using those produce bags and there's nice uh, produce reusable bag options out there as well. So if you really like having your produce in a bag, you can get, they have these like canvas bags now, they have some other alternative options that you could use as produce bags. If not, you know, like I stopped using them altogether. I just throw my fruits in my bag, I just throw my vegetables in my bag too. Um, and if they're a little wet, you know, shake the water off before putting it in your bag, but those little tiny plastics add up too. So consider taking those out and just putting your produce in bags or reusable produce bags. Number five, another great place to save plastic is at the mall. 
So if you go shopping, just imagine, especially if you're shopping for a lot of things that day, imagine all the paper bags and the plastic bags that you get from each individual store that you visit and purchase from. So instead of taking a new bag from each of the different stores that you go into and buy something from, if you just have one cool canvas bag or one big reusable bag that you can put all your purchases in, and it could also double as your purse too. So you could just put your wallet and phone in that bag along with all the purchases that you make. That's a very easy, easy way to save so much paper and so much plastic. Because just imagine, all the paper and plastic you use if you make lots of even if you make lots of little purchases in different stores that's a lot of packaging that you can save if you could just put it all in one bag for your shopping hauls as well so number six a lot of people might feel uncomfortable doing this because it's still a little bit awkward feeling but if you think about how much it could save the environment, how much plastic waste you can save, this is such a good practice to do too. And that is to bring Tupperwares when you go to the restaurants and you take food to go. So a lot of the times, you know, like I usually can't finish all the food that comes out when I order something at restaurants. So I always end up taking some to go. And I thought about how much styrofoam, how much plastic, how much waxed paper products I use to put the food in just to transport it to my house and put it in a different container anyway. So instead of wasting all that plastic, wasting all those packaging materials, if you are someone especially who knows that you always have some food to go that you take because you can't finish your food and you don't really have anywhere else to go afterwards, it's a really good idea to bring Tupperware that you can put uh, extra food in so that you don't have to waste that packaging. So if you think about all the times you eat out and all the times you take food to go, leftover food to go, that's a lot of plastic, a lot of packaging that you can save if you replace it with a reusable container. And number seven, speaking of packaging, most of our plastic use comes from uh, packaging, whether it's water or other things, but if you think about all the shampoo, conditioner, cleaning supplies that also is usually contained in plastic as well so if you go to your local like natural food store or even whole foods nowadays nowadays has options to buy in bulk and did you know that when you go to those places and you bring your own container before you go and put stuff into that container if you go to the register and they they weigh your package, so they weigh your container before you fill it in, they'll take that weight of the container out when you check out. So there are many places that offer buying shampoo in bulk or body wash in bulk or cleaning supplies in bulk, even laundry detergent I've seen that they sell in bulk at your natural, uh, local natural grocery stores. So when you can try to buy in bulk, especially if you don't really care for a fragrance or if you don't really care about a specific brand of shampoo or a specific brand of whatever cleaning supply that you like to use, buying in bulk is a great way to save on packaging because so much plastic goes into packaging everyday things. So those were my seven tips to reduce plastic use. And yes, I know there are times in life where you can't avoid plastic use. And if that's the case, try to just don't beat yourself up. Just reduce your single-use plastic waste as much as you can. But if you can't, then try to get plastic that's been recycled already or maybe something a little bit more biodegradable so that our carbon footprint is a little bit less and our burden on the earth is a little bit less. So thank you everyone for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Bye!